Hello students, everybody loves to play in the park. This is all because there is greenery everywhere. So the plants are grown everywhere. Trees, plants, small plants, big plants, very nice flowers. You can get a sweet fragrance of the flower in the park. So you want to play in the park. And uh, also the elders uh, in the leisure hours go and walk over there. So why? Because everybody loves to be with the plants. Plants are the universal producers. That is, they produce for us. We get the cereals, uh, spices, fruits, vegetables, flowers, everything from the plant. Even the furnitures we make, many medicines and all we get from the plants. So uh, plants help us in many ways and also they don't ask for the food from us. They in turn make their own food and also feed us with their food directly or indirectly. Because the animals and human beings both depend on the plant directly or indirectly. Yes, so uh, uh, today we will learn more about the plants. That is the parts of a uh, plant. You know what are the parts of the plant? Yes, what are the parts of the plant? They are root, stem, leaves, flower, fruits and bud. These are the parts of the plant. So today we are going to study about the leaf. I will introduce you to leaf. So today in the chapter we will study about the leaf and its parts, what are the different kinds of leaf and about the venation. So you might have seen leaf, you might have observed different type of leaves. You are eating different types of leaves also, yes? What are the different types of leaves you eat? You eat palak, you eat methi, coriander, uh, curry leaves mint leaves all these leaves you eat you might have observed the shape of the leaves are different in all the leaves on the different leaves maybe coriander leaf is different from that of palak leaves yes and some leaves are leaf structure is like this some are ribbon like these are generally found in water plants some leaves are like circular in structure. Yes, you might have seen the circular structure leaf in lotus plant. Some are heart shaped. Some are needle shaped also. Needle shaped leaves. Some are, some have very fine margins. The structures like this. So the leaves are different. Some are lobed also. Lobed leaves also is present. The structure of the leaf is different in different plants. If you take a leaf while when you are going through this video, you please take a leaf. So what will happen? It will make you understand better. So when you take a leaf, the structure of the leaf is like this. The Even if the leaf is different, but the structure, what are the parts of the leaf? Parts of the leaf is same in all the leaf. So what is the structure? The leaf is attached to the branch. You can see this leaf is attached to, this is the branch. Okay, this is the branch. And the leaf is attached to the branch. And this is attached to the branch by stalk-like structure. This stalk-like structure is called the leaf stalk or the petiole. The stalk-like structure is called the leaf stalk or petiole. I have a definition for you. Petiole is the stalk supports a leaf. That supports a leaf. And the next structure is the leaf blade. The whole portion, the upper part of the leaf, the whole portion is called the... Uh, imagine this is the leaf and the whole portion of the leaf is called the leaf blade. The flat part usually green. The leaf is generally green in color due to the presence of what? Due to the presence of chlorophyll. The pigment that makes it green and that is called the chlorophyll. And this chlorophyll traps the sun, uh, sunlight and they convert the light energy into chemical energy. So the, the, the next part is the leaf blade that is the flat part usually green part of the leaf. The whole structure is the leaf blade. Now what about the margin? What do you understand by margin? The margin. You can see the outer structure of the leaf. This is called the leaf margin. 
this structure is called the leaf margin some leaves have margin like this some have smooth margin some have shaky margin as you might have seen the rose plant they have teeth like structure the margin is like this namely they have incision this is called incision just like that the teeth like structure is there this is called incision the margins have incision incisions in them so uh, different uh, different leaves have different type of margins what about the this petiole extend inside the leaves and this is called the midrib this is called what midrib or the mid vein this mid vein helps in the transportation of water and minerals they collect the water and minerals from the root it is uh, it is absorbed by the root and it is distributed to different parts of the plant through the stem then to the branches then to the leaves so from the branches it goes through the leaf through the midrib and this midrib just divides and redivides into veins or or you call the veinlets the veins are the line like structure that runs across the leaf blade and it runs across the leaf blade what is bud bud is an undeveloped or embryonic shoot you know that parts of the parts of the plant contains one part that is bud bud gives rise to flowers just like that when it is bud is present on the axil of the leaf it gives rise to the branches so bud is an undeveloped uh, undeveloped or embryonic shoot and normally occurs at the axil of the leaves this bud when it occurs at the axil of the leaves it gives rise to the branches there is small structure at the base of the petiole and this is called the stipules this is called the stipules you can see see over there over here this stipules are present here this is a hair like green structure it's a small green lateral appendages on either side of the leaf base this is the leaf base on the either side of the leaf base this uh, this leaf like structure is present and this is called the stipule so this is all about the parts of the leaf now we will come to what what do you mean by venation venation the distribution of of veins or veinlets in the lamina is called venation so there are two types of venation that is reticulate reticulate venation and parallel venation what is reticulate venation when the venation are distributed like a net network like in a mango uh, mango leaf you can see this type of venation this is called reticulate venation example mango neem and parallel venation when the veins are arranged parallelly to one another like this this is called parallel venation they are arranged parallelly to one another that is it, it is found in the maize plant this type of venation are generally found in monocots and this is found in dicotyledon plants dicot plants in this venation they form a network but here the veins are parallelly arranged so this type of venation are generally found in the monocot plants so this is all about the venation how the veins are uh, uh, arranged in the leaf lamina uh, this is called the venation so today we studied about the different types of leaves yes what are the shapes of the leaves the different types of leaves and also about the parts of the leaf what are the major parts of the leaf and all also about the venation what is venation and the different types of venation thank you